The game, the nice game was about their defense and physicality, or you guys just missing shots, or a combination of all those things? Our defense was great. You know, I thought we did a good job, you know, defensively. I mean, holding this team at 96 points, like, you can't ask for anything better, you know. Um, so, just offensively being better, you know, playing with more pace, getting to the paint a little bit more. Um, we missed a lot of shots, you know, but um, as far as, you know, what we did defensively, I mean, I take that, you know, every day of the week. You know, Luca made some tough shots. Kyrie made some tough shots, which we talked about before the series. They're going to be able to do that. But overall, to hold this team at 96 points, that's a really great defense tonight. And so we just got to do a better job scoring the basketball. Uh, T. Lou, uh, I was Kawhi got a pretty good minutes workload. Looked like he did a lot more in the second half than, than, than the first half. Uh, how do you think he felt just from what you've seen and, and how you were talking to him? Um, probably just his timing. You know, I thought in the second half, you know, that third quarter, he really got active, a couple of offensive rebounds, put backs to kind of get him going. Um, you know, as far as getting the rhythm, as far as his plays and getting his shots and things like that, um, that's going to come. But I thought defensively he did some good things, some steals, some deflections. And, um, you know, it was just good to have him back on the floor. And so we'll be able to make it work. Ty, was there um, any difficulty of kind of like incorporating him back? And also, what did you think about his conditioning and his legs? Um, I mean, you had to ask him that, you know, but I thought he did a good job. You know, I thought he didn't try to force anything in that first half. I thought he just let the game come to him. And then in the third quarter, I think we got down nine, and he kind of just took over the game as far as scoring the basketball, offensive rebounds, steals, and things like that. And so um, if we play that hard, like I said, we, we're in great shape. And so, um, you know, they came in and won a game, which we didn't play our best. And so we'll be ready to go to Dallas. We'll be ready on Friday. Coach, um, when it came to the three-point shooting, oh, you, you guys were uh, eight, eight for 30. Uh, what, were those some shots that you liked, the threes that, they, that you guys were just missing? Or? Yeah, Justin, you know, he, he jinxed us the other day, you know, in the media. You know, he, kept, <laughs> he, he tried to ask that question, and you're going to be able to keep it up. And then, you know, of course, to, today, tonight, we don't shoot the ball as well. Um, but like I said, it's, it's part of the game, you know, but we're going to make shots. We know that. We've been a shot-making team since I've been here. And um, with our defense, the way it is right now, showing those guys different coverages, different looks, I mean, we won, we won in every category except for the game, you know. So, you know, like, I mean, you know, that's, that's, then that's good, you know, and that's good because we're going to be able to score the basketball. But the most important thing is defensively, understand what we're doing. And we just had a lot of mistakes, you know, um, rotations. We wasn't in sync, you know, late. You know, Kyrie got a couple shots. Luka got a couple shots. Cleaver got a shot. P.J. Washington a few shots. And so just late with our rotations and, you know, some game plan mistakes, which we can clean up. And uh, once we do that, it's going to be really tough for those guys to score. And do you think they, they tried to attack Zoo early since they saw him perform, you know, so well the last game that they wanted to No, try? I think Zoo just, um, just got caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, you know, getting beat. Um, we run Jones Jr. Off the, off the line, you know, and he gets to the basket. Zoo gets his second foul. Um, kind of changed the game for us early on. Um, but Mace came in, you know, with his energy and effort and just, you know, held it down to Zoo was able to get back in the game. So we just got to be smarter. You know, Zoo just, you know, in that situation, probably get out of the way, you know, give it to him. And, um, you know, next time we'd be ready to set our defense. But, you know, overall, like I said, with Zoo having those first early two fouls kind of changed the game for us. Hey, Ty. Um, with your superstars healthy for the first time in the last few postseasons, is there a sense of comfort in the sense that you don't have to do any what ifs at this point? Like you'll live and die by whatever results happen with your team finally whole? Yep, I feel great. I feel great about it. You want me to elaborate more on it? <laughs> no, I feel, I feel great about it. Yeah, I feel great having my guys healthy, ready to play. Um, I feel really good about that. First off, I apologize for jinxing you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry Sorry. about it. That's all right. Um, what have you made of Maxi's play for them and like his ability as a small ball center to kind of throw a different look for you guys? I know you guys probably expected to see him as a center at times, but what have you seen that's kind of been on the floor for you guys to have to adjust to with him? Um, you know, he made a couple threes tonight. You know, I think you, uh, anytime you have a stretch five on the floor um, and put your defense in a in a you know, compromising position, you know, so, you know, he rebounds the basketball, he can switch one through five. Um, he's physical, you know, with offensive rebounds. And so he just gives him a different look. You know, you have Gafford and Lively, two lob threats, guys can get behind the defense. And then you come back with Maxi Kleber who can, you know, stretch the floor and make a three, you know, and so um, he gives him a different look and he played well tonight. I know you spoke on uh, protecting home court advantage. Uh, not that you guys are one-on-one. -on -one. 
how does that uh, change things uh, moving forward? Win game three. And uh, Norm had spoke about, he had spoke out about not just being snuffed for six men of the uh, year. Can you elaborate on just, like, is that his mindset right now, does that inspire him? Does that motivate him to finish strong in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, I mean, not to even be a finalist, that's, that's crazy, you know, for the production that Norm has had and uh, for a team that's, you know, fourth in a tough West and not to even be considered as a finalist, is, that's, um, that's pretty absurd. So, um, but it's okay. You know, he led the league in fourth quarter, three-point percentage from the corners, led the league in three-point percentage from the corners overall. Um, you know, so, you know, it's okay. You know, use it as motivation and um, get through the series and hopefully on, on a long run. So I know it was uh, time for PG to come back in with about 8.30 left to go, but you brought him uh, in for Russ. Just what was the reasoning for going away from Russ at that moment in the game? Say it again. You got PG back in about 8.30 left to go. I know it was his time to come back in, but mm -hmm. you brought him in for Russ. I just want to ask what the reason was for getting Russ out at that point in the game. Uh, what do you want to do? I mean, <laughs> I mean, Russ had played like 13, 14 straight minutes, so get him out and get him back in because we wanted to probably possibly go small because Zoo um, played <laughs> almost the whole second half. And so, you know, we got, back, we got Russ back in for Zoo at that time. But uh, I'll check and see. I'll let you know tomorrow. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>